everyone, this is Inside the TMC Family, and today I am with Sohel Halani, who is the managing partner of one of our newest lender members, First Option Mortgage. They joined just in September of this year, and we had not had the opportunity to meet until today. So I'm excited to find out some information about you, Sohel. Can you share a little bit of information about First Option Mortgage? Absolutely. Um, you know, I actually joined First Option only a few years ago, but First Option started in 2003 and they had two original partner. And a few years ago, one of the partner decided to leave. And at that time, uh, me and my cousin, two of us joined us. And, you know, one thing about this company is when I was looking into investing into this company, I talked to the people and they were like, you know, amazing people doing amazing thing, very small. Uh, they were in their bubble. And I kind of thought that this is an opportunity, which is, you know, that this is like a hidden gem. And I think I, I want to bring this hidden gem to the people with my partners and we joined and we kind of like, uh, you know, fixed a few of the kinks that were in the operation, sales and everywhere, basically in 2009. And starting 2020, we started growing. And 2019, we did about 300 million in volume. 2020, we are looking to do about 1.2 to 1.3 billion. Wow. We had that less is... than, yeah, we had less than 100 employee. We have more than 300 employees today. So in just yeah. one and a half short year or two years, we have tripled in size. That so is very exciting. quite a growth curve. Yeah, fantastic. Well, let's get started and learn a little bit more about you. Share with me the first job that you ever had. Hmm. So obviously I had few odds and end jobs, which I was in college. I would really don't count that as a job, but my first job, a real job, um, I'm a CPA. And as a CPA, you always get into audit and I work as an auditor for commodity industry. I worked for National Futures Association and we audited all the broker dealers who dealt in futures uh, and commodities. So that was my job. And uh, I only lasted three years. I started my own business. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good for an entrepreneurial spirit that it appears that you are. Um, how long have you been in mortgage? Was this your first venture into mortgage? And then you kind of told the story, if this was your first venture into mortgage, you kind of told the story already of, of how you got in. So, um, so I actually uh, became an investor only in 2016, January. And I, you know, I was hoping that I will invest and I will see return on investment coming. And uh, there were four partners, three partners were there and they were running the business. Um, you know, 2016, 17, um, kind of like, you know, uh, I didn't see any progress. You know, we made progress, but didn't see the kind of progress that I was expecting. So 2018, I got involved part-time and one of our partner decided to leave. So we became from four to three partners. And as I started getting involved in 2018, I started spending more and more time and I started learning more and more. Uh, right before pandemic, we, I attended one of the convention, MBA convention in February. And I told my partner that, hey, you know what? I will come there, I'll spend six months in the business and I see a few weakness and I have an operation background. I'm gonna come out and fix those few weaknesses. And, and that will be the tenure of my 
um, employment full time, six months. Uh, and the pandemic happened. I was planning to start March 1st. Then I started June 1st. And uh, here I am, you know. Yeah. The six month is not over yet. It's been almost two years now. <laughs> yeah. The craziness, the craziness ensued. Is there one thing that, you know, before venturing into this space that you wish that you knew that now seems like super clear to you? So, to be very honest with you, I had absolutely no idea when I wrote that check. I, I understood financial because I'm a CPA. My background is, you know, accountant, and I have made several investments. And I it was an investment. So not knowing anything about the industry at all, um, I had no idea. But one thing is that I learned that you know, this industry has so many moving pieces, much more than any other industry I have been ever involved in. And I have invested in 20 different businesses and industries, um, not as a stock, but, you know, uh, taking an ownership where I have a significant share and, and getting involved in a consulting or a board of director capacity. So much to learn. I'm still learning. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, I was going to say you're not by yourself, um, you know, coming into the industry and finding out that there are a lot more moving pieces than, than what you knew for sure that that I think a lot of people experience that that's good for someone new coming in to kind of know and understand that it's ever changing, because of all of those pieces, if you weren't um, in mortgage and doing what you're doing right now, what would you want to be doing. You know, very good question. And I'll tell you this, that um, this just happened by default. Uh, 2011, I retired. You know, I had my business, which I grew from two location to 200 location. Uh, so it was a Jackson U2 service, service. I sold everything. And my thing was that I really wanted to help people, you know, in a business because I understood business very well. Uh, mm -hmm to get better at whatever they're doing. And I know a lot of small businesses fail in their first two years of operation. So that was kind of uh, what I wanted to do. You know, when I got involved in this, I noticed that, you know, we have a branches branch manager and their goal is to be successful. Uh, we have a loan officer, their goal is to be successful. And, and they're doing a lot, of the, a lot of good things, but they're missing like few bits and pieces. And that's what small businesses are missing. So I found all the loan officers and um, all the branch manager, you know, being a small businesses. And I am helping those small businesses to succeed. So it appears to me that this is something that I wanted to do in a different field. But I am doing the same thing that I wanted to do when I retire. Uh, in this mortgage industry that I'm helping all those people who are in a way very entrepreneurial. All the loan officers are pretty much, you know, those entrepreneurial people and, and I'm helping them. I'm really enjoying it. I was going to say that's such a fantastic feeling, isn't it? Absolutely. Doing what you, what you love to be doing. Yep. So first option is headquartered in the Atlanta area. Been to Atlanta a lot myself. Probably not everybody listening to this has. What's your favorite thing about Atlanta? Well, and it can't be traffic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. I hate Atlanta traffic for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I I yeah, I don't know. I don't know who will love Atlanta traffic. You know, it may be sarcasm. But you know, what I really like about Atlanta is, you know, diversity, you know, Atlanta has, uh, you know, pretty much people from all walk of life, um, not only all walk of life, but many different parts of the country. I meet people from all over the United States, you know, uh, not only people from a lot of different countries, but diversity within, that's what I really like. And, 
obviously I love this. I love Atlanta's traffic, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't love Atlanta's traffic, but I would have probably answered that in a very similar way. Whenever I've traveled there, people are very welcoming and they're just people, there are just a lot of very interesting people in yep. Atlanta. Yeah, so it, that's it, what it, I loved about it too. Yep, it's people from everywhere. And that's kind of like, you know, makes them unique and interesting. Yep, exactly. Well, I appreciate you doing this with me today. It was that easy. Um, we love having you within the network. Um, it's something that we've wanted to have happen for a long time. So glad that you're finally with within the TMC family and um, look forward to you participating in some of our groups and getting involved. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Thank you very much.